So you're thinking about moving to Brentwood, Tennessee, but you don't know exactly where you want to be. You don't know what neighborhood you want to be in. You're going to want to stick around for this episode because not only are we going to talk about neighborhoods, we're going to talk about proximity, we're going to talk about schools, we're going to talk about everything you need to know to make an educated decision on where you want to be in Brentwood, Tennessee. And if you stick around until the end of this video, I'm also going to show some alternatives that you've never heard of before, neighborhoods, other suburbs to Brentwood that just may be your next home. I'm Brandon John. My name is Caleb Lovejoy. I'm Sam Coleman Answer with the Coleman Answer Group. I'm Sam, my partner Brandon and I receive call, text, emails every single day from people just like you looking to move to the area. So if you're thinking about moving to the area, please reach out to us, send us a DM, send us an email, give us a call, send us a text, however you like to communicate, send up smoke signals, we'll find you. We'll put on the binoculars and we'll find you. Make sure that you reach out because we'll be happy to help you make the move to Nashville or the surrounding area. So as mentioned in this episode, we're gonna give you a really high level overview of all things Brentwood, Tennessee. We're gonna talk about proximity. We're gonna talk about neighborhoods. We're gonna talk about schools. We're gonna talk about where to shop. We're gonna talk about where to eat, where to play, and obviously where to live. Also, we wanna go ahead and, and let you know, be on the lookout for some more videos about Brentwood, Tennessee. We're gonna do, not only are we doing this overview map tour of Brentwood, Tennessee, but we're also gonna do a vlog tour. So we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna head down to uh, Brentwood and show you the areas in person. Uh, we're gonna show you different price points. So we're gonna go film different homes and price point, different price points in Brentwood, Tennessee. We're gonna do neighborhood tours. We're gonna do everything. So make sure that you subscribe, tap that notification bell, because if you wanna be in Brentwood, Tennessee, you're gonna wanna see these videos. So without further ado, let's hop into Google Maps and check out Brentwood, Tennessee. Here we are. Um, we're gonna talk about Brentwood. All, all this video is all, all things Brentwood today. Uh, one of my favorite suburbs because, you know, I'm just kind of like one of those freaks who just love to see nice new construction homes. And frankly, that's what you get here in Brentwood, Tennessee. So let's start off talk about the population of Brentwood, Tennessee. So in the last census report, population of Brentwood was just over 45,000. So we're probably looking at anywhere between 46,000 and 50,000 people. I also wanna mention that there's a Brentwood Davidson County and there's a Brentwood Williamson County. So this little line right here that you see is um, Brentwood Williamson County. And so there's a little bit of Brentwood kind of just spaced out here, but I also have a better picture here. So you can see this is Williamson County. So you know Franklin, Thompson Station, a little bit of Spring Hill here, Fairview, Nolansville. But then Brentwood is kind of sitting on this corner here. And so Brentwood kind of flows in the Williamson County, the Davidson County area as well. Average home prices here in Brentwood, Tennessee, we're gonna be looking at around $1.4 million, a little bit over $1.4 million. That's actually up almost 40% from last year. So you can actually see right here, uh, 1.45 is the median home price or average. And then la this time last year was just over a million dollars. So Brentwood is one of those places that's in high demand. Um, the lots are much bigger. You have those, is known for Brickley Estates, new construction, all of that kind of good stuff. So there's a lot of demand, not a lot of inventory there, but don't worry, stick around for the end. We're gonna give you some alternatives to Brentwood if you can't find exactly what you're looking for. I was speaking with um, with an agent a couple of weeks ago and they were talking about how when Nashville was developing, Brentwood used to be this far out place. The objective that they have to overcome was people were saying like, I don't wanna drive that far, that's too far from Nashville. And it's literally 10 minutes away. And it's a place where everybody wants to be because it sits right here. So that's a great segue to talk about the proximity. So where is Brentwood located? Brentwood is about, mm, I would say 10 to 13 minutes. We can actually map it out right here from downtown Nashville. It's a great smooth drive. Let's type it in here. Um, so right here, you can actually see what time is it right now. So it's actually, one, you know, a little bit over middays, 1.30 here. It's a 17 minute drive into Brentwood. A uh, little traffic from downtown, but I mean, really, if you just hit 65, you can get there in 15 minutes. You're also really close to the airport. I think you're about 20 minutes from the airport. Uh, let's check it out. Yeah, so a 22 minute drive from the airport. And then you're also, let's just type in Cool Springs and I'll show you where Cool Springs actually is located. So you're 10 minutes from Cool Springs. So the good thing about Brentwood and what I love the most about it is that it's centrally located. I mean, the proximity is great. And it's, it's one of those, it's why it's such a high demand suburb because it sits right in between Nashville, you're close to the airport, 
and you're also close to Cool Springs, and this is kind of where you'll do all your shopping here in Cool Springs, Nashville. You can shop also here in Brentwood, but those are your main two places. So let's talk about some things that you can actually do here in Brentwood, Tennessee. As I mentioned before, I mean, you're close to Cool Springs, so you have your shopping, you have the Cool Springs Mall here, um, where you have, I mean, all your name brand stores. Uh, you have Costco here. I know a lot of big families love to shop at Costco. You have your Target. You also have a Target over here in Brentwood as well. You have Best Buy, uh, Trader Joe's. You have Whole Foods down here. And that's only a 10 minute drive from Brentwood. So you gotta keep that in mind, Nike factory store. You also have down here in Brentwood, um, shopping, you know, in the main area. You have your Kroger. Just Love Coffee is a huge coffee brand in the Middle Tennessee area. You have your Chipotle, you have your REI. Uh, you have Lululemon over here. And then you also have, uh, you know, for the Fresh Market, which is an organic uh, grocery store. So you have great shopping and then you go across the street over here. So this street, Old Hickory Boulevard, kind of like separates Brentwood from Davidson and Williamson. That's kind of how I like to call it. But, um, you know, over here you also have more shopping and food. Seven Springs is kind of like a little, little district where um, a lot of businesses are. You have HCA Healthcare here, which is a huge brand. Um, the founders actually live in Franklin, so that's really cool. You have Target, you know, your big box stores here. So that's where you do all your shopping. You know, coming here to Brentwood, you know, if you want to go to the mall, you can slide down to Cool Springs. This is a 10 minute drive. Or if you want higher end things like Burberry, Gucci, um, Louis Vuitton, you can just head up to Green Hills Mall, which is probably like a 10 to 15 minute drive. Let's map, map it out. Okay, so like a 15 to 17 minute drive. You could, you know, either take the highway 65 or you can just kind of take um, Hillsboro Pike, which runs through Forest Hills and into Green Hills. So that's where you would do all of your shopping. Now, where are you gonna play? You're like, okay, well, I have kids too. Like, where are they gonna go? As mentioned, Cool Springs is right down here. Um, you have Defy Nashville, which is kind of like this trampoline park you can go to. Um, right off the highway here, you have a skating rink. Where is it? Brentwood Skate Rink, Skate Center. Um, and then if your person, your kids are into parks, you have a ton of parks that we're gonna get into later. So you have things to do, and also you're only a 15 minute drive from downtown Nashville as well, so you have to keep that in mind. Let's talk about the, let's talk a little bit about the outdoor activities that you have here in Brentwood, Tennessee. You have a ton of greenways, uh, parks and greenways here kind of all over Middle Tennessee. You have um, Maryland Park, which is kind of in the business district. It's actually located in the business district here in Nashville, Tennessee. And Maryland Park is kind of like, you know, you want to take a break. You just had lunch. You're all, you only need your lunch break. And you just want to go stretch your legs. Go take a little walk at Maryland Park. There's a lot of businesses that line the Maryland Way Street down here in Brentwood, Tennessee. A lot of older buildings, but there are a lot of businesses here um, in Brentwood. Because people that mainly live here in Brentwood are either going to be, you know, working here in Brentwood They'll be in Nashville or they'll be in Cool Springs because Cool Springs has a huge business district. Uh, you have, you know, big businesses like Mitsubishi down here, Nissan, um, Schneider Electric. So a lot of your executives and, and people that work in these corporate companies live here in Brentwood, Tennessee, because it's just, you have, you got big lots, you have nice homes, and then you're just centrally located. So let's talk about Crockett Park. Crockett Park is located right here, uh, just south of Brentwood, you're actually kind of close to Cool Springs here as well, but this is the second largest park in Brentwood, Tennessee. It's over 170 acres. There are several tennis courts here. You have an amphitheater outside, you know, football fields. You have all kinds of stuff, indoor arenas to play um, flag football, soccer, lacrosse, whatever your kid's into. Uh, and then also every year they have a 4th of July fireworks party here. So they do fireworks every, every year right here at Crockett Park. Again, it's the second biggest park in Brentwood, Tennessee. So you also have Radnor Lake and this is, you know, I threw this in here. It's actually not, it's in Brentwood, but it's kind of like Davidson County Brentwood. So it's really in Nashville, Tennessee, but I mean, it's only a couple minutes away from downtown Brentwood, but uh, Radnor is, you know, it's about an eight to 10 minute drive. It's a really, really beautiful area. Um, a lot of people here, you know, are doing animal watching. They're hiking. There's, you know, multiple hiking trails here. You have over 10 miles of like hiking trails here at Radnor Lake, a lot of um, nature and outdoor photography. You'll see a lot of people walking the lake and taking photos. So it's a really cool, calm place, Radnor Lake. So if you're into hiking and biking and uh, jogging, this is a great place because it's only a 10 minute drive from you. But you say, you might say, all right, well, what else is there to do? You know, I kind of want to, I want to go on the lake, right? I live in Brentwood, I want to go to the lake. I want to do some water sports. Well, right over here, 
you have Percy Priest. I didn't even think it was this close. It's a 20 minute drive, so it's almost the same drive to the airport. Percy Priest is basic, basically the beach within the city. It's a place where people go to do all their water sports. You know, I have a friend, Brandon actually likes to fish, so he fishes Percy Priest sometime, but people go out here and wakeboard, water ski, whatever you're into, you have, you have, an, you have a boat, you wanna go out and just kinda like suntan. Um, this is the place to go. A lot of people are swimming out here. Um, grilling, boating, swimming, whatever you can think of, this is kind of like the beach within the city because I mean, I mean, Nashville is kind of like landlocked, but this is the place to go. This is where everybody spends most of their time, especially during the summers, you know, early fall when it's kind of, you still have that, that fake fall weather where it's cool in the morning, but it turns out to be 95 degrees at the end of the day. If you're into that kind of stuff, water sports, swimming, just lake life in general, Percy Priest is the place to go. So now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's talk about the schools here in Brentwood, Tennessee. So you can see um, there's a ton of schools and what's so good about it. So keep in mind that, you know, Brentwood is in Davidson and Williamson County, but if you want your kids to be in a really great school district, Williamson County is ranked top in the nation in school districts. They have a lot of great schools between high school, middle schools, private schools, whatever you can think of, they have really great schools. So some of the high schools here, you have Ravenwood High School down here, and Ravenwood has just over 1,500, about 1,600 students in the school, great facilities. And then you also have, you have Brentwood High School over here, they're around 1,700 students. And then you have Brentwood Middle School as well. So those are kind of like your top middle school and high schools. And then you also have a ton of private schools. So if you're into private schools for your kids, uh, you have Brentwood Academy over here. I mean, this is the place to be. This is one of the places why it's so sought after because you have big lots, you have great homes, you have great proximity, you have great schools, everything that you want, great communities, um, safe. But now we're gonna talk about some of the neighborhoods here in Brentwood, Tennessee. Um, you know, lately there, there's been a lot of new construction going on and the price points are, you know, can sometimes, you know, get up there, but I wanna just kinda of touch on a couple of some neighborhoods that are coming and also some neighborhoods that are already established that people love or may have heard about, but probably one of the most notorious neighborhoods in Brentwood is uh, the Governor's Club, and it's actually located right off of Concord Road. So you go down 65, you get off on Concord Road, and it's actually about mm, three to five minutes from the highway. So you're kinda of really ducked off in here um, but the Governor's Club is awesome. I mean, beautiful, beautiful lots. I mean, these homes are huge. And then you also have a private golf course um, that's only available to members that live inside of Governor's Club, so it's really, really exclusive. If you wanna see more about the Governor's Club, we're also gonna do a neighborhood tour. We're actually gonna go into the Governor's Club, show you the different homes, uh, the clubhouse, the golf course, everything really you wanna know in these neighborhoods. We're gonna do these tours. So make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell and, um, and stay up to date. Another neighborhood that's pretty notorious is Annandale. So here's Annandale. And actually I think there's a little piece of Annandale that may be in Davidson County, but this is um, a neighborhood that was developed about 16 years ago. You have these big grand brick estates. There's a couple homes that are currently on the market here, but it's a really, really beautiful neighborhood. It's super quiet, super accessible. I mean, you're two minutes away from downtown Brentwood, two minutes away from the highway, Highway 65, which takes you straight into Nashville or takes you straight into a cool spring. So this is a really great neighborhood. You have a clubhouse. You actually have a 12 acre park inside of here. It's great for walking, um, really everything you need. So Traditions is another neighborhood that has kind of popped up in Brentwood as a newer new construction over the last three years, two to three years, they've been building here in Traditions. So you want new construction, you want to be in close, you know, you wanna be in Williamson County, you wanna be in Brentwood. This is actually almost really close to Franklin and Cool Springs, it's a great area. This is the neighborhood that you wanna to, wanna to check out. You just wanna keep it on your list. You're also right next door to Ravenwood. Again, a great high school. So if you're, you know, your kids are going, you know, ninth through 12th grade, a great place to be. Um, and then here are a couple of new neighborhoods that are coming up. Harlan is a really exclusive, brand new neighborhood. No houses that have even been built on it. I think it may be two lots left. It's like 21 lots across 30 something acres. Each home sits on an acre to an acre and a half. I think some even go, go up to like five acres or four acres or something like that. But Harlan is one of these exclusive neighborhoods. It's right off old Smyrna Road. So, you know, really close to downtown 
uh, Brentwood again, close to the highway, but then you're really tucked off. So it's, it basically encompasses this entire area right here. And you have these massive lots. Um, a lot of the construction is gonna be done, a couple of builders in there, but Grove Park, which is a phenomenal builder here in Nashville, Tennessee, you're building some great estates in this house. So if your budget, you know, four million up, Harlan is a place that you should think about uh, moving to because it's really exclusive, it's really private. You have big lots and the location is just prime. You have Omen, let's look at Omen. So Omen is another beautiful, I think they've actually sold out in Omen. I don't think they have any lots or any homes left. It's completely built out, but it's right off 65, Old Hickory. Granny White Pike is basically 12th Avenue. So we've actually done a video on 12th, 12th South here in Nashville, Tennessee, you can check that out. But this street is 12th Avenue, runs straight into the city of downtown, downtown Nashville. And so Omen is just off of that. And again, it's built by the same builders, Grove Park. They have like three or four communities that they're building out right now. Omen, Harlan that we just talked about, Cali is another one, Anna. And all of these range between two million up. Omen, you're gonna see like some of the, some beautiful, beautiful homes. The designs, you have all kinds of different architecture here, like Italian style architecture, English style homes, just new contemporary modern homes. If you're watching this video and, and you're like someone who really wants to be in Brentwood and you really want to have a new construction home that's built right, that's unique, that's special in great neighborhoods, just check out some of these places. We're gonna do neighborhood tours here. Just keep it in mind because these are some beautiful homes, beautiful lots great proximity, great air, great location. You can't really beat it. So that's just a really brief overview of Brentwood, Tennessee, what it has to offer in terms of proximity, schools, outdoor activities, shopping. But if you're interested in more about Brentwood, Tennessee, keep in mind that we're also gonna do map tour, we're gonna do vlog tours, we're gonna take you guys inside of Brentwood, Tennessee, we're gonna do neighborhood tours, so stay tuned for that. Um, if there's a neighborhood that you're interested in, like Harlan, Omen, Cali, leave a comment below and let us know so we can quickly do a video on that for you. But we're gonna get to it eventually. And as mentioned earlier, I wanna make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell because we are the number one YouTube channel in Nashville, Tennessee, in the surrounding area for real estate. So if you wanna be up to date on all things that's happening here in Middle Tennessee, make sure that you hit that little subscribe button, click that little notification bell because it helps the channel and it also helps you get the information you need as quickly as possible. Again, I'm Sam with the Coleman Answer Group here in Nashville, Tennessee, and leave a comment and let us know what you thought of this episode. We're always listening, so thanks so much for watching and see you on the next episode.